All right. Hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Our Kind of Homesteading. We're your hosts, Sherry. And Shauna. And it was weird. Last time Sean entered, I mean, I guess I was super ill. You were really like, ill and like you didn't even door. say you're, you weren't on death's door. You're being slightly. I was on death's door. And I it didn't even say that you didn't even tell me how bad I looked. I looked You didn't look that bad. Awful. And I didn't see your hair loopy until. I had like, I looked like, I don't, oh, I can't even talk about it. It was you awful. great I like today. rewatched the video and the next day I'm like, <laughs> Oh my God, that little bitch. That's all I, I could think. Oh, I, well, why I is think. it my fault that I had to like genuinely calm down before I talked to you about it? <laughs> I was like, I can't even call her. I can't even call her. <laughs> okay. I didn't see your hair loopy. It wasn't just the hair loopy, it was my I, I fucking mean, face. It's <laughs> just like, I, mean, I looked, I just looked so look awful. You tired. You looked like you were sick. And <laughs> when does anyone that looks sick look good? Has it ever happened in the history I mean, of anybody? I don't think I looked that bad when I was sick. Yeah, well, you wouldn't. But <laughs> anyways, today, <clears throat> last time, <laughs> today we are talking about garden mishaps. Garden mishaps. They, yeah. They just happened they, to me. They happened. I had a really yeah, bad Shauna day. Yeah, just, yeah, she just had an awful day. And But I feel like, and I and I know we've said this before um, with gardening and homesteading in general, Obviously, you're going to have setbacks and there's going to be things that happen. You know, shit just happens, but you learn from it and then you move forward. And so don't be too hard on yourself. Or you because can be like me and scream and cry in your garden for a little bit well, and you, then I mean, move forward. You are entitled or to actually, that. Or actually, it yeah. was more than that. No, uh, you're entitled to that. I also. That's fine. Yeah. Was a lot of. Had a mental breakdown. Yeah. Perfectly fine. It's t- totally fine. acceptable. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and like it's stuff is going to happen though. And regardless of how much you. Make are trying to ensure it doesn't happen. Like shit, just gonna happen. So it's always Anyways. good to have a backup plan. Is like the general point of today. And um, my back. You know what my backup plan usually is? Mine is you. Mine just fuck it. And I just I'm like yeah, oh, fuck it. I just walk away. No, my because like Sherry, I knew is you. It's you. She's Mine's like it's you. It's you. You're my backup plan. <laughs> I, Sherry planted way too much than she could plant in her garden. I like, did. I blame my husband. Wise. Yes. So I like I was like okay like after I like the initial shock of like you know because the greenhouse got left open and it got we had like a cold like a really late frost. We usually don't get frost this late in the season. And yeah, a really so late that frost. was that and was weird, right? It was and weird it was, because and you something that Shauna had completely not planned on. Not, and we because yeah it so happen. anyways and then it was just like a series of just shit you know like yeah. the greenhouse got left open like even the um our grapevines who I've never had that happen we had the late frost like killed them completely like they are all have frostbite so I have to like prune those back like they'll come back but we probably just won't have the same amount that we yeah. usually get well they didn't kill them they just no like, yeah 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 you just gotta prune them and which stuff. just sucks make though them, because make them happy again there was already little baby grapes. Yeah, I remember you saying like we're gonna have. But we grapes. honestly, like, I honestly didn't so think early. it was gonna be that cold either, because even my potatoes, which potatoes are pretty hardy, they can withstand yeah. some really cold yeah. temperatures. My potatoes all got frostbite too. Depressing. <laughs> um, so, so anyways, I, I feel like we're we're fine. Yeah, and we were a little, um, you know, that gave us uh, oddly enough some inspiration for this episode topic today because. You know, shit happens, and we're just gonna talk about the shit that's happened to us, and you hopefully know, you can learn, yeah, from it. overcome some stuff. So, like the things that died in my greenhouse are the obvious ones. Like the tomatoes, obviously can't handle frost. Any of the peppers, right. they're all they're like heat loving plants, right? So, but like, um, and then the watermelons and the melons, obviously, but like all the lettuce is, is was fine, and obviously. Um, my sunflowers, they look great. <laughs> oh, I lost my zinnias though. That was like, I don't know why that like broke my heart. I know, more than why anything. did that break your heart? And they just were so, I was so excited about them, just I go guess. go buy more. Go buy more. They were, I was really excited about them and you know, them being all like, they looked so, no, no, they it, were it about does, to bloom yes, and they're yes. coming up from their little red solo no, cups. Like, I hello. <laughs> hello world. Oh, yeah. And I was I just know, like, look I how know. lovely you're going to be beautiful in the garden. And no. then. They're dead now. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah. So. Yeah. Depressing. That's fine. Well, and you know what? So maybe that is a reason to plant more than you need just in case. I mean. I guess if you'd planted more than you needed, just it wouldn't have mattered. More death. <laughs> more death. Okay, death so, and destruction. So um, the greenhouse I have, small, tiny, just to start my, you know, veggies out. Um, 
It does not have an opening in the back. Well, I, we like DIY'd it, you know, because our uh. the plastic we had just like another. It's still like ours is bigger than yours, but it's not like a huge greenhouse. And then we just cover it in plastic, um, mm-hmm. you know, like a roll, like like you roll it out. Oh, okay, yeah, and yeah, so. Yeah. Um, Honest actually made really cool clips from like PVC pipe. He like cut the PVC pipe in half or what the fuck ever, and they fit perfectly around the little um, uh, the greenhouse holes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I was doing this. I was like, that looks bad. <laughs> clampy, clamp, clamp. <laughs> um, perfectly, yeah. and so like, and they're really tight. But you know, we had right before the frost, we had a really warm day, and we're out in the garden working, and it was in like the 80s. And so we opened up the back of the greenhouse as well as the front to get the air flowing yeah, through there. Yeah, circulation. And we never opened up the back. And so I didn't even think that it needed closing. As well. I didn't even like look right. at it, you know. Well, and I, that needs closed, right? Because like you so, don't ever say la vie. But, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm just going to keep <laughs> saying it. She's not having a mental breakdown. No, nope, no, it's good. I got definitely you covered. not on camera. <laughs> yeah, I got you covered. <laughs> no, Sherry had so many. Uh, she's like, I, I, she has plenty of tomatoes. She has cucumbers. All my cucumbers oh. died too, which I was also really sad about. I don't know why. Like some things, like I was just really attached to. <laughs> I don't know. Like you know, uh, you like no, attach yourself no, for sure. No, I like sure. literally like I planted so many cantaloupes, and even though I know that I've never had a successful cantaloupe year, <laughs> and I was Shana's still sad, like committed, committed. Um, yeah. just because of the damn gophers, but this year's going to be different somehow, some way it will be. You have raised beds. Yeah, I do. Well, the yeah. cantaloupes aren't going in the raised beds. That's so. unfortunate. Mm. <laughs> Pots. Pots. No, I, I'm in a large pot. I was doing, have you ever heard of the, um, I can't say it. I'm going to say it wrong, but it's basically like huge culture, huge culture. And I, I can't say it. It's like H U G. It's not. It's a different. You know. It's not. And what does it mean? Uh, it's basically kind of similar to like lasagna layering in your garden. Okay. But so um, it's really cool. And I I made one of in the process actually of still making it. My pumpkins are gonna go there. But um, you basically kind of dig down a little bit into the earth, uh-huh. and then you lay like really big logs like down first, and then small sticks on top of them, and you're making your making a mound so like a hill like tri- like think like a triangle right you're making like okay. a hill and then you lay your and like lasagna layering you do your sticks then you do your mulch like a hay of or some sort and then you do compost and then you do some dirt and then you do another layer of compost and another layer of mulch and you kind of just keep mounding it and layering it so it's like it feeds itself right like the soil okay. and everything else yeah. as it breaks down it's the feeding. logs and things yeah down, and so yeah. and then it, you have this really big hill that um you know, it's just, it's just kind of like a cool way to garden and it works really, really well. So we did the same thing in our, um, raised beds. We did the lasagna layering. And so I thought I'd give the actual, like, whatever it's called a try. Okay. I'm that's not going to cool. try saying it again. Yeah. And so <laughs> I did that. And then, um, huh. so I have one of those and it's not quite ready yet, but, um, I, I still want to do a couple more layers cause it's still, you know, it's still too low. I'd like to to be a little bit higher, but I would like to plant my my pumpkins along there because pumpkins like mounds too. So yes, I'm gonna try it. We're yes. gonna see. I don't know. Yeah. And watermelon. Watermelons love hills. Yeah, I was thinking of uh, planting the watermelon like maybe on one side and the pumpkins on the other yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. And then maybe something along the top of the hill that's like something something. Do you have beneficial. Water- Do you have a watermelon? Do you have watermelon plants? Not anymore. <laughs> oh, right, they died. So I found there's a lady. So I found there's I'm, a lady, a lady, you know, we talked about like starters, right? So like if you didn't start from seeds and it's too late in the year there, you can always find people with starters on lo- local Facebook groups. That's where I always go for seeds I didn't plant. So I didn't find I was any watermelon. Ask Amy. Amy always has some kick-ass watermelon plants. Yeah, she does. Yeah, I'm going to ask her. Amy, do you have some? <laughs> um, I want some too. Anyways, there is a lady and it's just three bucks a plant. Yeah, they are as reasonably price yeah. compared to like it's, what you get yeah it's so nice like three dollars yeah. a plant like you just can't somewhere like two dollars yeah but like honestly like my zucchini and stuff i wasn't really worried about because i can just throw some seeds in the ground they'll be fine we have like a long growing season here so i wasn't like worried about like the faster growing vines but like the tomatoes like i can't like restart my tomatoes now it's too late right you can't start them from seeds at least i have to use starters thankfully sherry has those starters already very so much many. so many very and they're and um even 
I I did use I didn't use like I, I didn't buy any dirt this year just because I like our dirt is way better than the dirt you can purchase at least yeah, like where I we live. I didn't buy any dirt either. But and Sherry's, it was awesome. Sherry's dirt is just it even looks it just looks great. It's just so beautiful. Um, it's like the perfect color and the texture and everything. It's all the goat poop. I know. That's I literally know. all it and is. And like I, I try to like you, but we don't like, like for years, we just, it hasn't been as long here. We haven't had goats and as many and like it right, going down right. the hill and like yeah. composting itself and it gets down the bottom <laughs> of the hill and you take it from there, you know? Yeah. Like we haven't had that for as long yeah. as you. So I just think like your soil is just so rich and full of amazing. I go over to where that like, hill is on the where the bucks are yeah. over there and I just like boop boop right yeah, in the, I'm not even in their pen area but exactly. I, it just has rolled down the hill you know we've not been there 25 years right there's always exactly. been goats over there yeah so no it's uh yeah I didn't buy any dirt and I was very proud of myself because you know I would go and spend quite a bit on dirt you don't you know? but like that dirt is way like, better than it's anything way you better buy. than any, I mean there's you should see how many worms oh, run it's just, I mean it, I even, have to like pick them even out even in the cups them back. it looks beautiful yes. like I would they like, yeah you could probably sell that dirt for <laughs> quite a bit of money who um, wants some dirt goat poop dirt come pick it up so so beyond so like late frost like is a thing it happens and yeah it, the shitty thing about that is like like we, I didn't think it was going to get that cold. I don't, I'm not like a weather checker person every day. I'm not like weather oh, checker, gonna, weather checker. Even when I, yeah. I knew like the rain was coming in, like I wasn't, I should have been, that should have been my cue to been like, I should make sure that it's not going to get too cold. And I was just like, exciting rain fires. Like that was like my <laughs> thought and that was Ooh, it. Tea by the yeah, fire. yeah, exactly. That's all. That was like as far as it went. And I was just like, Shauna's kind of a ah. selfish bitch like that. <laughs> I did not like, She's like, what does rain mean for me? Yeah. Fire. Fire and tea. And, tea. <laughs> and so anyway, so that should have been my cue, note to self for the future. Yes. To check yes. the weather and to see if it is going to drop down at night, you know. I mean, as long as you're keeping things in your greenhouse, though. I mean, I know your greenhouse, greenhouse was left But open, even I but should like, have like mulched out the potatoes. Right, right. See, you know, I don't have anything protected things. actually in the ground yet. Like nothing besides like my medicinal garden. But those are all just plants that are always out there and in my garden. And like I should have covered the grapes. It's always out there. <sighs> See, my grapes are busy. OK, I live lower than Shauna. We're yeah. only 25 minutes drive away, but um, we live lower. And so like our my grapevines are perfectly they're great. And they're for like where we live, like actually. specifically, like there's always like this wind tunnel cold snap for whatever reason. Like, yeah, we weird, just seem right? To get it more just literally like right here. Just right here at your house. Right here, right here. It's like, oh, it's gonna be cold there. Someone's like, well, like, shit. Kill her grapes. Um, so yeah, the greenhouse so, left open. Kill it all. Kill it all. It's like, yeah, yeah. Um, so just you know, double check your weather and stuff. And if you do have things in the ground and stuff early, you know, potatoes, whatever have you. So um, yeah, it's a good idea to keep your eye on the weather. You know, you hear rain's coming in. Like, okay, well, go out there, do some little some stuff to help these. These or cover, plants, you know cover what I mean? them like there's like yeah, plastic cover you can them, cover them with. to make it like a little temporary greenhouse essentially yeah so they don't get too cold but um yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have to sorry prune back I'm still the, like a little bit of a cold my eyes yeah no, watering fine. just a little the, bit I'm gonna have to prune back the potatoes a touch or a lot on some of them yeah um but I think they'll be fine I think the potatoes will be fine I obviously the grapes will regrow I just you know like I said it's not gonna be like a bomb ass season like we usually get we get usually get like a shit ton of grapes but it's fine it's okay they're still alive um so wait so the question on so we had a question about chickens in the garden was that from aunt carrie i think yeah it was from aunt carrie hi aunt carrie hi, aunt carrie um so she was asking about like and chickens mulch she's in, asking about chickens and mulch okay chickens in the, in the garden and so and she was asking, how do we keep our chickens out of our gardens? Because they, you know, obviously can they be can destructive. fly. And, yeah, right, they're destructive. So, okay, with chickens um, can't really, they don't actually fly like, an, like a normal bird. They can, like, glide and they can kind of get some air, but then they're like, ooh, back down to the ground. So, like, we have the six-foot fence around my garden and they just don't go over it. If there's a hole they find, they can get in there. And I did have a mom and babies in there last year and she kind of destroyed some of my tomato plants. And I just had to kick her out and then patch up the hole and then be like, okay, well, you've been evicted. Goodbye. Um, but she was trying to stay in there, you know, because we have one or two dogs that love to eat baby chicks. So Rude. naughty. But um, yeah, it was probably a good place for her. It was a very good place for her. And Safety. I felt bad, but it's just like she was just like decimating my tomato plants, you know. Well, um, 
And that chickens can be good if you want to let them in your garden before you start planting and like they can till the soil for you, you know what I mean? And like get it all, you know, whatever, good. But once you've planted, I mean, I know some gardeners let their chickens in once they've planted, but that I'm, I just, I don't have those kind of chickens. I have like <laughs> chickens that are like ravenous, ravenous. I don't know why they're ravenous. They're fed, by the way. Like, they're so weird. But, like, they're like, okay, I see all these green tomatoes on this bush. I am jumping up and grabbing them off, and I'm going to eat all of this. And then I see pictures of chickens in gardens, and they're just, like, walking on the gar- on the ground, like, getting all the bugs. I'm like, why? where are those chickens? Why can't I have those chickens? <laughs> so we have one, like, permanent resident in our garden, Leon. You know, he's our old Does rooster. Does he eat things? And last year he was eating, but he'd only like kind of nibble on some red tomatoes like occasionally. And I would just, like, I didn't mind him taking some here and there. And he's like the only one. Like I'm going to have to, Buttercup likes to go in there. He's another rooster and he is, I love him, but he's an asshole. And, um, (laughs) story of my life. And and then. You uh, should patch up the hole where Buttercup's getting in. Yeah. Well, that's what we need to And then just keep Leon in there if he's not too destructive. See, I've never had a chicken that was not destructive in my garden. If they get in, it's like I'm eating all these tomatoes. I'm eating all these peppers. I mean, I had one eating all my bell peppers. I had one Your eating bell, bell peppers. peppers. I had one eating, I had these really tiny, very, very spicy, hot little purple peppers. And they were just round little oh, things. Oh, those Remember were those? so spicy. They're so yeah, spicy. I had some of those too. Juan what are those loved called? them. I don't even know. I can forget. The chicken with the babies? Pecked that bush completely clean. You should have seen how many freaking peppers are on this bush. Weird. And she just ate them all. Her and her babies. And she and so she's teaching her young babies, like, this is where we get our yeah, food. Yeah, it's bad habits. Fuck yeah. off. Mm-hmm. Like, no. So anyways, to answer your question, Aunt Carrie, I don't let the chickens in my garden. So, but we, so I um, follow this guy on Facebook. It's, it's his uh, Facebook whatever name is called self-sufficient me i don't know if you guys watch him at all but he lives in australia so it's completely different like climate climate obviously. and yeah. obviously season you know well like and even an, you know southern animals hemisphere even. yeah or northern hemisphere so everything right. is like different right but um yeah different animals and stuff but they still have something called um i guess scrub turkeys which is like a turkey there and so he had this i thought this was brilliant across he lays like um like kind of like a hardware mesh right like um well it's okay it's it's a, it's a lot firmer than a hardware mesh don't think of like it's not bendable think of almost like i don't know if you guys know what a hog panel is yeah but with smaller but squares the like squares, the squares are, are like, like a couple inches maybe a couple inches maybe three inch three by three or four by four squares the hog panels i know the squares can be really really wide um, but it's stiff like hog panels. So you so could he, lay it over your beds and then well, he doesn't, the freaking he things props them, He props them up so they're propped up on either um, like cinder blocks or he, he kind of tipped over some flower pots so they could be propped up above the bed a little bit. So it gives the little, the new things that he has planted room to grow. But then the scrub turkeys can't get in there and like tear shit up and break the, the new set. I just thought it was a really good idea. Yeah. So I was like, I'm stealing that idea so thank you i know you don't listen to us but you know <laughs> um, i mean you never know you never know yeah but uh yeah i thought it was pretty cool so um and listen to him because his accent's amazing you I know. know he doesn't he's, live an australian accent yeah he's actually like fun to watch yeah yeah but um uh yeah so that's an idea if you do have chickens getting into your garden but like sherry said i think it's best to try to keep them out if you can um just and unfortunately the only way I hear a child hulking out. I'm assuming it's mine. Anyway, you're assuming? No, it's yours. I know, you it's, know mine. it's yours. I know it's mine. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, so I, I was gonna say, um, you gotta, you know, chickens. Like I said, they can't really like fly like a friggin' bird. I mean, I know they're a bird, but they more like like they can get some air and then they glide. Um, but they do. So, but they can fit into the craziest but they, holes. I, thank you. They can fit. Yeah. Like I had the tiniest little hole yeah. in my garden fence. It wasn't even that big. It was so tiny. And this, these chickens were kept getting in. And I'm like, what? Where are you guys getting in? And I had to like go around the entire. And which is hard because I have so much growing over my my fence of my garden. And so I was like, trying to find a hole. Very hard. But they don't have a problem finding it. No. So I have a six foot fence. Um, and that definitely, the height keeps them out for sure. Like, they, they just can't fly over six feet. Like, they could if they were in a tree and if they were, like, really trying to. But they're not that smart. At least mine aren't. Yeah, no. 
we like I said, we only have like the one or the two in the garden. I'm gonna kick out the other one because it's one yeah. too many. Evicted being well, like out. especially during like garden season, like yeah, I just no. don't want to lose that many vegetables. Like, no, they get no. fed, they get scraps. Yeah, no. Like you're fine. Yeah, no. Um. Anyway, they are good. So uh, a lot of people. Something else we we're talking about, like garden mishaps that people don't do, is mulching. And I think like that is probably one of like the underused things in a garden or people like that are new to gardening oh and this is another question that i carry asked oh really yes look at me yeah i know what she asked specifically she asked do we mulch i believe oh yes yes 100 percent. yes so the mulch is and you can use a lot of different materials um you can use like hay leaves um like pine um bark um stay away from from black walnut bark because that um can actually like inhibit growth in some plants and that does something else that i can't remember anyways i'm sure oh. i'll be fine yeah okay well tell shanley sorry a dog just got a some chocolate so it's always something it's always something you know it's funny my dogs it, my dogs eat so much chocolate that's it just i don't know my dogs I, are immune. It's They're considered just immune. poisonous to dogs, but yeah, I, so are grapes. And but Cookie some, loves grapes. I know. Freaking. Tofu, I don't know. I tofu I just Shanley's like, dog. Like yeah. when the grapes, when we're getting picking grapes, and they like some, you know, yeah, fall, he eats them. Like he'll just eat them, and yeah. he's like been fine. I think some dogs are just like almost like allergic to it. Yeah. And some are not. I mean, I had one of my dogs ate a whole box Speaking of chocolate chip cookies once. Of jo- I know. I had. That's what I'm saying. I, had I mean, one of, I some of my dogs I've never had, like, a problem had with chocolate. like they ate a whole thing of like Ghirardelli chocolate brownies, <laughs> like you know, like like they took it off the like counter. The, the richest the rich of so, brownies. So rich. And there's just the two dogs, and they ate like a whole pan. Like They're I like, took them out of the oven, and I left, and I came back, and the pan was on the ground, and obviously, and I thought I was like, my dogs are dead. They are fine. I thought I was gonna have to like induce vomiting, but they were like perfectly fine. <laughs> induce vomiting. You're like ew. <laughs> they are fine. Like, but. No, it's amazing but, so speaking of chocolate so on that really bad day that i was telling you guys about okay um with the greenhouse and stuff like that it was like something this, happened with chocolate yes so i had made the kids pancakes for breakfast and my daughter oh eats, my daughter oh, eats chocolate chip pancakes um, who doesn't but well nobody else does in the family she's the only one i i that, like demands me, yeah me and my <laughs> that kids. demands chocolate chips in her pancakes and I hate she won't re- eat regular, regular pancakes. pancakes yeah ew who and does? so but Blech. like when their kids are done they know that they they put all their scraps onto right. a plate that are like that right. like pancake scraps stuff like that because they always go to the chickens because that's part of their diet is scraps yeah and, no um, no yeah and we don't same with us, right? Like pig, a, chickens, like st- pig, an animal will eat it. A dog, like something no, eats whatever. Going to eat this, right? That if we're eating no it, waste. something can. Yeah, <laughs> we don't waste a lot of like food like that. Yeah. And so um, I go out and I usually just toss like pancake scraps to like all like I have like a so many chickens that are just like out free ranging. But I was like, oh, I'm gonna go give these to the chicks that are in the brooder. And they're not like chicks anymore. They're full blown like chickens. But I have like a problem like putting them out with the rest because I know there's going to be some issues and like, you know, getting along and stuff. So I haven't been doing it and I just need to do it, especially now. So like they're big (laughs) chickens. So I go and I toss the pancakes in there. And you know how like something's in the back of your head and you like know, like I I know better. I know that chickens, chocolate is poisonous to chickens. But like I said, I have like it's one chocolate chip pancake. It's not like they were all chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Right, and that right. I have given it to him before, but it's like to the whole flock. Right. Okay. So maybe that I don't one just know. got a lot of chocolate. It's, anyways, it's never happening maybe again. Maybe she ate so the whole I chocolate literally, chip pancake. Right. So I literally put the pancakes in the brooder. I go to get their actual f- feed, you know, that we feed them because they don't just have pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> and I come back and within that, that short of time, there's one of the chickens laying there and she's like convulsing and I was and I knew right away that she went into like seizures and cardiac arrest from the chocolate like immediately and like that is nuts and I picked her up hoping that she was just like choking and I could get it out you know yeah yeah but once I realized that she wasn't choking it definitely was like cardiac arrest and I was like well fuck and like I felt so I still feel so bad because like it's completely like you know and knowing better like you know better like it's so annoying like to to like do things like that and you're like what the fuck is wrong with me like i like knew that it like just i don't and know like just absent-mindedly just throwing... i mean my chickens have had chocolate i just feel but like so it's just mine, one of those but things like, like it just but, but see, like so knowing you... that they're in a brooder and that's like too much for like one that i mean there was nine of them 
So it's not like there was just like a lot of chickens. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you shouldn't feel bad. It's just one of those things. And the thing is that chicken was most more than likely she was just prone. Right. No, for sure. But I just like like, chocolate chip pancakes will be going to the dogs because they're fine with chocolate. (laughs) You're like, I know they're fine. So you get the chocolate chip pancakes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Or the freaking. Yeah. I don't even know. I was like, what else would eat it? You can send them to me for my pig. It's fine. <laughs> I was going to say. Pig loves like, chocolate. I don't have a pig. I know. Uh, pig loves chocolate. Um, pig anyway, loves everything. Anyway, so though. that was the another part of, and that was That even, same day. That, that wasn't even all of it. That I don't even want to get into it. I'm going to yeah. like spiral. <laughs> but um, it was just a shit day. She's like, don't even get me talking about it. I know. It. I'm going to like start crying. Um, anyways, so what I got on to chocolate chip pancakes for somehow. We were mulching. talking about mulching. We're talking mulching. about mulching. So mulching um, leg is like falling asleep. It's super important because it it gives your soil the ability to retain moisture for your plants. It also so you don't want to mulch too early. The perfect time to mulch is um, kind of late spring, like mid to late spring, wherever you're at, because you don't want because the soil is naturally warm warming 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 warming. Um, I just sounds like what's the matter. I hear, I hear a child. I don't know if it's a sparrow or if it's legend. Oh. And um, so you don't want to inhibit that like warmth, right? So you want to like right. let it naturally happen. And then you can put the mulch on um, kind of in, your, in the late spring. And then your, um, like I said, when you go to water your plants, it will really help to retain that moisture. So you don't want to do, overly do it. Some people, have you ever heard of like a mulch volcano? Yeah, um, you were explaining it. I've never heard that term, but it, I mean, yeah, do you, you should not build up mulch like up the stalk of any plant. Like don't make a, don't make any kind of volcano or any kind of like a, you know, that shape. It just The mulch should just go on the ground. Like, it's like literally on the ground. two yeah. to three inches at the That's most. It. That's it. Anything more. Don't pile it's it up. It's going to like retain too much water yeah. or the water won't get down into the soil enough. Right. Um, it's just not... Um, yeah beneficial so yeah so if when you do like something like that like it will hold the water around that wherever you put it up and so it will just cause rot and other things Uh, a lot of bugs like whatever you're mulching with like they love to hide in there so it just has like a breeding ground for bugs and i know you're you think like well like two to three inches like same thing but it's it's not as bad like you can still have bugs and you still have to watch out for pests but it mulching has more benefits than not in my opinion yeah ditto yeah exactly so i just I use agree. i just use straw like yeah old we hay. have yeah we have so much old hay and um so it's broken down a little yeah. bit and then but it's not like um i mean i just go over to where our hay barn is and like when the kids get the hay out obviously the stuff's just dragged out and so i pick up all that on the ground mm-hmm. and it's it's older alfalfa essentially and i just take all that and i just put it around yeah all around the plant and i use uh i i give the base of the plant like a little bit of room if it's like a tree that you're planting and you're mulching around the tree i would give it like um a few inches all, all around the base of of the tree but for and and it also keeps weeds down so like yeah heck yeah that, that's like the, that's like the best benefit <laughs> to the, me i know like yes. the water like yes holding the water is like a huge benefit but like keeping the weeds down like yes please yeah Thank yeah you. weeds are just oh my god I have so much mallow just all year popping up in my garden. Yeah. The stuff is just, you know, it takes over. It's it's an invasive plant. I'm pretty sure. It's good for you, though. Very good for you. But you feed your just, bunnies with it. They do. Yeah. I, but see, we also have wild parsley growing. We have the chamomile. We have... Oh, do you know Legend reacted to chamomile the other day? He ate like a raw flower. Mm. And he reacted on his mouth. And he started itching and burning. And I was like... That's weird. So he probably can't have anything from the Daisy family then. I was like, that's interesting. Good to know. Good, Good to, to know. Because um, he's like over there, you know, he loves to pick them, you know. Mm-hmm. And he's like, he's like, Mama, can I eat these? I was like, yeah, it's chamomile. You picked it all last year. Eat it, you know. And he eats it. And then like even like a minute later and he's like, he's like, I'm out there. <laughs> Like freaking out <laughs> did you give him something oh, I was like, uh, no we just went in and i just washed it with soap yeah. and water and, and i know it's like right next to his mouth but he just put the soap out and i had to do that like five times before it was like fine huh. but you know how he is you know he has, i'm out burns yeah. it's burning. i'm needing attention yeah. <laughs> um so okay the, yeah, yeah the ahead. next the next one um you want to definitely plant like in your garden don't forget to plant all your pollinator plants like all of your plants that attract your bees um 
It's definitely butterflies. Yeah. I mean, not that you have to attract butterflies, but it's fun. And if you're attracting butterflies, you're attracting bees. So just think of it that way. So bees are obviously essential. And when, you know, you have certain plants that will, you know, need the bees. I mean, all plants need Tomatoes. Bees, but exactly. <laughs> they need pollination. Exactly. So, um... Don't forget to plant those kind of plants. And you can, you know, you can plant them in pots in your garden, like wherever you want to, you know, to save space, you know, depending on your the size of your garden and stuff. So, yeah, we have a lot of lavender to attract like bees. Yes. Um, and the, like your rosemary that attracts bees as well. Um, and like Shauna said, the lavender. The cat mint. Uh-huh. I had a bunch of cat mint. Um, my cats love it. <laughs> Yeah. They're like mm, cozy. And so like any where I plant it's like they want to sleep on it, you know, they just love it so much. So that one I and my cats are in my garden all the time. So that one didn't really work out for us. They just killed it by loving it too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm loving you to death. Um but like bee balm and stuff like that, obviously. Um my comfrey attracts bees like none other. It's yeah. always flowering and the well, I'll have flowers that'll you know, they bloom and they die so quickly, but then right in their place is another stalk. So, and mine's huge. It just like takes over. I don't think, I was going to transport, plant it to the ground, but I don't think I'm willing to now. <laughs> yeah. Because it's crazy. It's it like, crazy. it's crazy. Yeah. I think I'm just going to take some and make more more pots. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I'm totally going to do that. But yeah, so don't forget those pollinator plants because, um, you know, bees are, you know, great for everything and you got to have pollination. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then um, putting plants in the right spot. And this seems like obvious, but like, I don't know. I just feel like it needs to be said. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you do. OK, so and OK, we've talked about this before. Um, for OK, for example, tomatoes, they say full sun. In here, in our planting zone, especially in mine, um, my tomatoes cannot be in full sun because they will just die. The sun here is we have hot pretty freaking hot days and they just don't do well so I've learned to shade them so I have plenty of ways I can shade them now so your garden gets a lot of natural shade too. yeah it does from like the way more from than the, like from the, all the jasmine and stuff yeah. and I have a lot of plants that are like re- just huge established plants yeah that, you have your honeysuckle exactly sorry even I meant like, honeysuckle not jasmine yes I and thought gigantic, I thought you did but I was like I don't remember jasmine no I was like, I that, that gigantic white flowering thing i don't know what it's called but it's gigantic taking over the oak tree oh, wants to marry the oak tree and it does and then you have that big oak tree that hangs over exactly your garden. so yeah so like natural shade is awesome if you do live in a really hot climate but um if and i you, wouldn't even consider our climate that we don't live in a ridiculous we're not hot like arizona climate. it's not like arizona or anything but like it gets hot i mean it, we do have really hot days and just uh, the tomatoes it doesn't matter how much water i would give them they do, i mean they, they like dying. a fair amount of shade at least here yeah but um if we're, so when you're planting your garden or even for this year before like you know you start actually like we haven't planted anything that like the tomatoes I've, I've obviously we just had that late frost like right we don't right plant until they're all still in May. the greenhouse yeah. yeah but um mother's day weekend usually have, happy mother's day to us <laughs> have something like a structure already built so you can put shade cloth up easily or whatever you want to do yes yes so if you already have like the freaking tea post or poles like people yeah. do super cute things like have that already ready in your head have the shade cloth ready so like because sometimes you're like I don't think I'm gonna need it and then you're like I freaking need it yeah exactly and exactly you're not getting the tomatoes or whatever just freaking plan it out yes exactly I 100% agree and that's and it's a good idea just to have everything ready available. so available and set up and so then you're like okay you know what yeah they do need to be shaded and then you can just well, and, put up your shade cloth and then putting plants like that so planting plants that want shade, make sure they go into shade. You know, check the backs for like your hardiness zones. I know like the zones have changed um, this past year. So make sure you're in the right zone. Like I think we're... Yeah, good tip. Yeah. So like check your zone, make sure it's correct. And then, you know, plan accordingly. So don't yes. plant plants that aren't going to work there. <laughs> you're yeah. just going to be disappointed yeah I mean like obviously all your lettuces and stuff like those things all require a fair like shade (laughs) pretty much I mean I know for my zone my lettuce is just like shade like all the time shade please they because they like they like more to be a little bit yeah they're cooler right a cooler cooler plant and so you know if I had them in in a in a bed that was you know mostly in the sun like they're going to die so just things to think about um 
But you kind of, unfortunately, you're going to have to feel it out if it is your first garden in your climate that you're in. First gardens like, are hard, man. They're they're hard. They're hard. They're hard. And even like, like, like your like 24th garden, you're just like, am I ever going to get this? <laughs> I mean, just like I said, like the other day with, you know, the thing being left open and the late frost and just like, you know, it's almost like the perfect storm. And Well, but see, that's why it's always going to be difficult. Gardens are always kind of difficult is because like shit happens so much. Shit happens so much. And like, for example, a late frost. No one saw that coming. It was kind the of weather a surprise. Did. Well, <laughs> I guess, but you know, they don't uh, live with you, unfortunately. Why don't they live with me? They're like, uh, Sean, call Shauna Popovich, please yeah, tell should, her they should that have me on speed um, dial there's a late something. frost and she should take care of her potatoes and grapes. Make sure her greenhouse is shut. I just aged myself by saying speed dial. Everyone's like, what's that? <laughs> Shauna, everyone that watches us is at least our age or older. Like 100%. I hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, they are. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Pretty sure they are. Maybe um, not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. They're like shit does happen. Like, um, you know, we've had deer decimate our garden. We've had go- uh, gophers issues. Like there's always some issue or that like every year there's like a new pest. Like you think you've like conquered one pest and really got a handle <laughs> on it. And then like the next year you're like, you didn't oh, know it was God. locust season. I know. I know. Or like, you know, whatever. So it's always something like new and that you really have to watch out for because, uh, I think you guys should invest. I think you guys should invest in a six foot fence around your garden. We do. You do? Our garden? No, our garden's deer fence now. Yeah. No, it's not. The front yes, where you is. walk in? Yes. It's a gate I walk on is six feet. The, well, that's the gate's not, but the everything else is. The gate has that thing, though, so nothing's going to jump through there. It has that oh, little Oh, I thing. was like, is it? Okay. Oh, well, that's yeah. good. We've been out something there, conquered like recently. I, I, and then we did raised beds for the fucking gophers. Honestly, I feel like you're gonna have a good year. I know you don't feel like it because of that setback with the stupid I greenhouse. Don't feel like it, but I think you are going to because of the raised beds. Okay, I'm like so, and that's why it was so like disappointed because I was so excited about this year's garden because we did the raised beds and we're doing the little whoopy whoopy thing. Whoopy whoopy. Um, you know, with the hog panels. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh you know what i'm talking about yeah i'm making rainbows <laughs> i'm making rainbows i don't know what you're doing with your life but i'm over here <laughs> making fucking rainbows <laughs> oh god <laughs> she's like call me lucky charms <laughs> you need to work on your irish accent i think i was not trying <laughs> At all. I don't ever drive for accents. So I can't do them. <laughs> what is... I, actually, Honest does a really... Oh, well, where is he? Damn it. <laughs> that was... Come he's back. Like, he's like, oh, Honest is... Oh, damn it. He Come back. He does a really good out. Irish accent. Oh. I don't know if people in Ireland would think so, but I think so. I think it's it's actually... It's pretty good. Mm. Um, you know, what are they called? <laughs> hoops, Shauna. You're just making, like, freaking hoops They're with freaking... Hoops. <laughs> it's a thing. Like a trellis, but a rainbow. Is this right? Am yeah, I... stop fucking with it. Everyone can hear it, by the way. You can't oh, hear sorry. that? <laughs> no. Okay. No, because I thought my back was to my front. Okay. So. <laughs> anyway. She's like, do you like this noise? Do you, I'm like super. Do you enjoy just, this noise? Stop being a bitch. Um, so I'm making the thingies. Uh, and so it's not like, hard when it comes to you, unfortunately. Like in my head, it's going to be great. Well, and I think it is going to be great. Yeah. No, I do. I, I really feel... Because you put down hardware mesh, mesh or whatever the fuck. The damn yeah. gophers. I, I did all the fuckers. Li- They're not getting in now. Yeah. I did the lasagna no, layering. So my sh- soil should be like. You know, we do not have rich. gophers. Like we just don't have them. It's odd, yeah, right? You have them. Oh, the not on our property we don't. You have them. Well, they're not there. I've literally never seen one. You've I've never, seen never a had a problem. Hole? I mean, we have holes, but I'm imagining they're snake holes. Or, um, you know. Ground squirrels? Yeah, you have, I've seen ground squirrels. No, no, I've see, I see ground squirrels everywhere when I drive out either way, but they're never on our property. Oh, I there mean, you are. Do your likely. Irish accent. I was just saying how you do a good one. No, come on. I haven't practiced it. Yeah, come on. I haven't practiced it. Come say it into the microphone. Well, he's in a practice between now and next episode, <laughs> and then you'll all get to hear it. It's really good. It's impressive. And we'll have everyone rate it. Yeah. It's going to be very fun. Especially people from Ireland. What? 
What kind of European are you? I can't do that accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, the or the wasps. Wasps make the holes in the ground. Yeah, we or got the yellow jackets. Wasps. We got yellow jackets. I just, I honestly think like, I don't ever see gophers. I don't see ground squirrels, and I really think it's because of the amount of chickens we have, and then the dogs. I just think that the they're chickens. like. Yeah, our chickens are kind of brutal. Our guinea hens? Oh, I can see the guinea hens. Yeah. So that's really sad to think about. I I used to have a dog named Bubba that would like, he he was like a big dog too, but he would search out gophers and moles. Like he was like a freaking rat terrier, and he would like dig them up. He, and he then, wasn't a rat terrier, but he was a big dog. He was like like Sharpe. a rat terrier. Yeah. Yes. And then he would find them, and then he would take them, and he would flip them into the air to like break their backs. That's very pleasant. To, so they would like, you know, couldn't move. And then he would eat them. <laughs> I was like, Sean was like, I still have nightmares. It was just great. Like I would like, you know, be like, what is he playing with? And be like, oh my God. And then like go over there and the poor thing is like paralyzed. It's awful. Awful. I'm pretty sure he was doing you favors. Because I don't remember you complaining about gophers when he was alive. That's a good point. Look what's transpired. Well, my cat is also a murderer. Not enough apparently. And he's always in the garden murdering things. And see, so we have our cats are um, all my cat. Well, no, not our fat white cat. She's awful at everything besides eating cat food <laughs> <laughs> and laying on my counter. She uh, actually needs help up on the counter because she's so fat. And she's like, meow. And, okay, her only saving grace, she has the cutest little meow. I don't know how it comes out of her big fat body, but it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> you would You're never so think. Mean. Oh, she's so obese. Like, it is bad. Like, I think she has like, an actual, like, physical problem i've never no, seen a no, fat cat because you've never seen a fat cat fat like her like she sits and her like spine goes like in <laughs> because her stomach is like out like that's me just, like <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is when she sits uh, down it is unreal you're like what the oh, that's, okay uh shit kitty our cat that's well, her they're, name. they're sisters they're sisters and she yeah. also we have our cat food rather low like it's not ground level but it's just up on like a steamer trunk um and she can't jump up there on her own. <laughs> she's like lift me and so we have to put like little stools next to it so like little helpers to, so she can get up there i leave um, a chair next to the counter so all the time maybe that's just because like hereditary. she has to jump on the chair and then jump at the counter yeah it's just there it's a hereditary condition sherry hereditary body type yeah but yeah they um <laughs> she does not have a nice meal though she did not get that she yeah, the, the, are this meow. <laughs> no, our, our mind has a really, really cute meow. And honestly, that's her only saving grace because honestly, she pisses me off so much. The other day, like I'm sitting there and like my uh, my 17 year old is down there talking and he has he like, brings always he's all these friends. He always brings down the house. And we're like, ah. Anyways, a million teenagers and we're all, you know, they're they're like riding hoverboards in the house and talking and everything is just talking. And I'm the white cat's like in the hallway right in front of my girl's bedroom door and the bathroom. And I'm looking at her, I'm looking over, and she's like sitting there, but she's sitting really weird. And I'm like, what are you doing? And so I'm kind of like paying attention because like all these teenage kids are talking to me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And I'm what the fuck is she doing? And so, and then like she finally gets up and then she's like, and done. And she walks away <laughs> and there's the hugest cat dirt. I was like, did you literally just shit in front of all of us in the hallway? Like the middle of the hallway. Not she has no remorse. She is completely unfazed. She's just like, everybody watch me taking a poop. You're just like, what is wrong with you? It was huge. It was disgusting. Okay. And TMI. I, no, I had to deal with it. Who do you think picked it up? Me, Shauna. Fucking me. Anyways, uh, oh my God. I grabbed her so quick threw her outside and then I shut the window so she couldn't come back in. Uh, and I was like, you were banished for freaking days. I, I fed her out there that night. I was like, you're not coming in this house. That's nice no. that you fed her, though. <laughs> yeah, she is lucky. You're, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you're not a monster. I'm not a monster. I was very angry at her, but oh, God, she still gets fed. so funny. Um, no, it was disgusting and weird. And you're just like, <laughs> what are you? The window's open, by the way. The window, it doesn't have a screen. It's open Maybe just for the cats mad that you were to go her. in and out at their leisure. Okay? They can just go through the window and come back into the house and out of the house. She's like, no, no, right here we'll do. <laughs> just like in front of, I. oh, look, I have an audience. Perfect. Shit Kitty has a problem with that too. Hence the name. Hence the name. Um, did we go over everything on our list of what we wanted to talk about? 
Yeah. Oh, oh. oh here's a good one that people don't yeah. realize. So it used to be a thing. Not to get off the topic of cats, but... <laughs> well, cats are very off topic, but that's fine. But um, to add, like when you're planting a tree or what the fuck ever, you add like the potting soil, you know, to the hole. Okay. Yeah, no, I've never done that. So it's interesting you say that. Do people do that? P- I th- yeah, I think it's a common practice. Oh, okay. Okay. Strange. So you shouldn't. Don't do that. Because the the potting soil that you add, it, it causes like drainage issues. And it also basically the because that tree or whatever is so used to that soil it really won't want to spread its roots out you know to the new soil it'll want to stay there so like you shouldn't add that potting soil back and don't like mix it around don't add it at all plant your fucking tree (laughs) just plant the fucking tree and you should make it very very wide and deep like like it's crazy amount of how much you have to dig for a freaking small tree but it's like two to three times the size of like the pot of what you bring it in or whatever does that make sense yeah yeah no it is it is crazy when we, when we planted those cherry trees they were they my boys had to dig very 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 big holes forever forever digging to china yeah and yeah. and you have to um when you are doing like trees and you like get them from like a nursery or what, what have you like the the like the root ball you know it's like usually like really tight right yeah you need to like break that shit up like yeah. a lot like a lot it, it should not it should have not have any of that soil like anymore like the root should just be like free yeah because if you just plunk it right in the ground without breaking up that that root um the root system it's just not going to go anywhere and it's not going to grow and then because it die. And it's going to die <laughs> a terrible terrible death yeah i've have i've been having issues though with um trees in general we had a we tr- lost one of our cherry trees Aww, yeah it died it's never coming need back a new one we do the one is fine. The other one just... We can't just have one. No, we cannot just have one. So I keep on trying to get lemon trees, even though, like I was talking about, it gets a little too cold here, and the lemon trees just don't like it. You know, like citrus, like they like to be warm, obviously. Um, yeah, that's yeah. Why we have... they do very well in like Southern California, you know, right. oranges fucking everywhere. <laughs> fucking Florida, you know, like, yeah, you get it. We, so, you like, know, citrus do great at our house. We have... Quite a few, yeah, actually. Yeah, that's why I did not think it, it yeah. would. I thought it would be fine. And I was like, eh, they say no, but I think it's fine. Yeah. And we even have like a lemon tree that's been here since we moved in. And it's never once have given us like lemons or anything. You think that would have been my first clue? <laughs> You're like, well, that tree's just defective. Dead. And, and, it's, <laughs> and it's close to the house to provide some protection, that one. Um, and I just planned this other one like out in the middle of the garden. Like, this will be great. It wasn't great. Um. <laughs> Well, that's so, highly unfortunate. I know. But we've been, I've been having like issues. And I had a, honest got me a cherry tree a couple years ago. And I have no idea why that one died. None. I, I, ours died because mom and dad were convinced it didn't need as much water. But it was thirsty. But I told them, I was like, I don't know. I think you should just keep watering it. No, they didn't. So it died a slow death. It died a slow death. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah. The other one's the other one's good though. The other one lasted and so I just have to that's fine. I know. All these things are just like all these things I have to do quickly. Um Yeah. So last week we announced our winners for our giveaway. So congrats again to all those winners. Yeah. Um very exciting. We will be getting I know we haven't gotten a hold of you yet. Um Well, I talked to Victoria only because she was commenting, so boop 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 commented back and let I let her know we were gonna get in touch with her to get her address and all that good stuff but victoria is that right yes that's right <laughs> i believe victoria last time i called you virginia so i'm very sorry about that i had a well now i'm all confused it. as to which one her name is. is victoria i promise okay all right um if she's wrong it's her fault she looks like an idiot but um uh, anyway so we are going to be getting a hold of yes. all of the winners yes and um we'll be like direct messaging you or whatever through facebook and, or instagram or wherever you guys were from and then um getting your addresses and that s- stuff yes. i did decide on the plantain solve but that's just going to take a minute because it's still drying so you have to wait um, so you have you will wait so we yeah. will reach out to you soon. And it's Easter's coming up. I know when this airs, Easter would have already happened. So hope you had a good Easter. Hope we had a good Easter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Easter will already have happened. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, it's right because this doesn't come out until Wednesday. Yeah. 
It's freaking Friday today. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. You're like, oh, we had a good Easter. <laughs> Tell me, did, <laughs> did we? we? <laughs> did we? Yeah. We're going to have a great Easter. Yeah, we always do. It's always it's fun. It's Legend's birthday. My son turned six on Easter, so, you know. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, we got a bounce house. And, from oh, yeah, family from Texas, Texas. coming in. It's going to be super exciting. fun. So we should get some videos, some fun things yeah. going for everybody. Yeah. But yeah. Beyond that, I think, is that it? Yeah. So I had some questions about oh. um, leaving reviews. This time, I know I told you last time I would leave all the links to every way you could leave a review, and I didn't. I just plugged in my normal <laughs> review thing. I had a cold still, in my defense, uh. <laughs> and I did it at, I think, at, like... She hasn't been doing much lately. One Keep o'clock in the morning, I think I remembered to finally post that, by the way. And so... Oh, it, you it was, remembered, though. It was cutting it close. I, like, woke up. I was like, oh, my God, I didn't post that. And, like, jumped out of bed, turned on my computer. <laughs> I'm like, eh. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, no, no. It was it was later than one, because, like, wa- like, my husband, Juan, wakes up, and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, like, I'll leave it. I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to post <laughs> our like, I'm freaking quiet. podcast. Anyways, so I will, I promise this time, I'm going to get all the links and I will put all the links in the show notes. And then I'm also going to put them in the show notes of our, of our podcast at Captivate. I'm also going to put them in the description of the YouTube video. So for all of you, all of you who's watching, it'll be there. And for everyone that's listening, I'm trying to figure out. So it'll be through Captivate, I thought. Yeah, it'll just, I mean, and you can, I mean, when I say show notes, that's what shows up, like, if you're looking at it th- through, like, Facebook, like, it just shows up on Facebook. Those are, like, the show notes. Like, you see them. So scroll you down. see them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can see them. Uh. Scroll down, and then it'll be at the bottom there. I'll post all the links for how to leave a review. Um because we would absolutely love that. And I'm very thankful for the questions coming in about how to leave reviews because that means you guys are trying. And I'm, I really, we both really, really appreciate that. No, she, only her. Only me. I'm all, <laughs> well, that's probably true, actually. Well, no, I care. <laughs> I care that people are whatever. I care people are whatever. Whatever you're doing, I care about it. Okay? No, no. Because you're going to confuse them that I don't care that they leave a whatever. I do. It's called a review. I'm not sure why that's hard for you to say. <laughs> That's, they, they, they leave a whatever, whatever that's called. It's so, just when you comment, you're going to hear from Sherry. And if you hear from me, it'll probably be a little thumbs up emoji with a heart. <laughs> yeah, no shit. That is, and if you get just an emoji, it's just Shauna. She doesn't mean any any ill. No, I told you it comes whatever. from my soul. It's just, she, I lack I words. Know. She does lack words and she doesn't like to type and she doesn't, she doesn't like, just like it. It's, it's fine. We all have our skill set. It's not mine. It's not hers, which is, you know, But that's it's Sherry. Good. Sherry's it's really mine. good. She's yeah. very flowery. Sometimes, like, I think too flowery. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, like, be quiet. No, they love it. You <laughs> don't because, well. I have a short attention span. Exactly. And Sean's like, yes, meditation. yes, comment, comment. Good, good, good. We're all scrolling, <laughs> scrolling. Yes, heart, heart. Okay, good, good. No, no, I really, I like when somebody, le- like, I always like, oh, we got this really nice comment no, on yes, Instagram. No, yes, no, I know. I'm always very excited. I'm just being a bitch. But, like, I know. you are being a bitch. But, like, I'm always very, <laughs> and, like, when I do have to comment back, because, like, when I know, like, Sherry's not feeling well or she's really busy and I'm, like, trying to comment back, I really want to put as much into it. And I just, like, I just feel, like, so fake. You know what I'm saying? And, like, as you, you sound very genuine. and that's, it, it is but genuine. That's... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't just sound like that. <laughs> and for me, like, I can't come across, like, being genuine with that. It's like, it, you're getting an emoji, okay? <laughs> that's me being genuine. <laughs> that's it, okay? How much you're getting from me? Uh, <laughs> you no, know, emojis are a great invention, and I love them. Mm-hmm. It's hieroglyphics. Yeah, and I uh, it convinced mom that she needs to use more a little a few years back. You know, mom was super dry in her text. She doesn't use any punctuation, or she used to not. She still kind of doesn't. It's just one long run-on sentence, and you're like, what the fuck am I reading? <laughs> and then, like, she she uh, thinks how I'm reading it is how she's thinking it. So, like, however, she's like, hey, blah 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 But see, how I'm reading it, since there's absolutely just words there, is like, hey, blah 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 And you're like, shit, are I you can, in a fucking piss no, poor mood? I can and tell. Like, I can tell no. when she's in a bad mood through text, though. Well, like, she obviously. doesn't have to put, I know she's like our mother, but, yeah. like, yesterday when we were all, like, texting, we had, like, a group <laughs> chat with me and Sherry and then our other sister and I then know, my mom. I know, I know. <laughs> and we're talking about Disneyland. And because we're planning like a family trip and stuff. Okay, so and, and just to give you what, what, what's going on right now in my mom's head, um, my aunt and my and her son from Texas are coming in. My mom is My very mom's a much, stress cleaner. She's a stress cleaner. And she's very much like still stuck in 
years ago where your house has to be perfect all the time. Even though, like, she should, you know, it's okay. It's cool. Like, your house can and, be whatever and you want it to be, like right? my aunt, my, it's my dad's sister, is also, like, her best friend. And, like, right. she does not care. Yeah, doesn't care. Doesn't care. Doesn't give two but fucks. whatever. Yeah. And, but, um, anyway, so she's, like, stress cleaning, like, a mad woman, you know, and we're, like, doing this group text. <laughs> and, like, I can, like, hear in her voice, like, her annoyance. And I was, like... I said something like, are you super annoyed because you're cleaning right now? Because same. Because I was also at the same time. Like, no, you stressed. said, are you super hyphy because you're cleaning right now? Because same. And then she was trying to make like a joke. My mom doesn't even respond to her. She didn't even respond to me. She just <laughs> ghosted like, me. Fuck you. I was fuck like, I know. I was like, that was rude. A little bit hurtful. But even like, she only sends like a couple, like a one sentence. And we're yeah. all like, ooh, mom's pissed. Yeah. It's just so funny like, how we can all like. Like a shit. Yeah. I was in a bad mood. And then we kind of like make jokes to try to like whatever. And she like just doesn't respond. So we just keep making jokes <laughs> until she has Which to Which I'm like, sure she loves. Yeah. <laughs> until she finally just turns it off her thingy so she can't like hear a little ding coming right. on her phone. She's like silencing all <laughs> notifications. <laughs> We're like, mom, mommy, mama, mom, mom, mom. mom. Yeah. Lois, Lois. We mom. try to be annoying even through text because <laughs> we love her. Um, anyways, so, yes. So, again, hope you guys had a fantastic Easter. Yes. If you do celebrate Easter. Yes. And, um, yeah, we will, are we good? Yeah, we're good. We'll talk to you guys next time. Talk to you all next time. That's right. Bye. Goodbye.